Hi everyone, Chris Tim here from Sundella Consulting. In this video, I want to talk about how to create a ticket from a workflow rule. Now this is something in Autotask that came out, depends when you're watching this video, probably around about two or three releases ago at the time of recording. This is being recorded in, in March 2024. So it's probably about three releases ago that this came out. Um, but it's something I get asked about a lot in almost every consulting call um, that I do. And I just wanted to go through, you know, go through this in detail and kind of explain how this would work. So one of the first things we want to do actually is we want to make sure that we have a ticket category that is set up specifically for, for sales. So we have a sales ticket category down here. Um, I do have a video somewhere else. Um, I'll link to it up here, um, which will talk about how to set up uh, ticket categories. Uh, but I'm, so I'm not going to go into that in, in huge detail on this video, uh, but we just need a, a, well, we don't need to have this necessarily, but I'm going to put it in here because this is going to be a ticket that is going to get created when an opportunity, uh, oh, sorry, when a, um, when a contract is about to expire. So what we want to do is click on admin, go into workflow rules. Of course, you can still see the workflow rules by clicking on, uh, you know, admin and then automation and then coming into workflow rules and getting it from here. So if you're more used to doing it that way, you can, or I'm just always used to going into admin workflow rules. I think it's a lot easier to find. So let's set up a contract workflow rule. So what we're going to do in here is we're going to say, you know, contract, contract expires in say 60 days. And then what we can do is in here, we can look at a time-based entity or time-based event and we can say when um, this contract is expiring in 60 days we can add some conditions at this point if you wanted to go and add a condition and maybe say you know we only want to do this where the contract type is equal to you know a time and materials or a you know recurring service or block contract you can do that um, or we can just leave this blank um, and uh, you know just just look at all of them or of course we can just pick any of these fields to use in the, in the conditions. But in this particular instance, I'm just going to say I want to be alerted on every single um, you know contract that ends in 60 days. Then what we can do is come right down to the end here, and you can see we have an action on this workflow rule, which is create tickets. Now you can see it says create tickets with an S. So this is going to allow us to create multiple tickets against this if we wanted to. So what we can do is simply click on the Actions button. And now it's asking us to use the ticket category. So in this case, we're going to say Sales Ticket Category. And that is pretty much all we need to do. So we're going to say when a contract ends in 60 days, we want to create a ticket in the Sales Ticket Category. And of course, we can add another as well. And we can then maybe create um, you know, a different ticket. So maybe we can go into you know, our standard or something like that and create a different ticket. So you may have different teams that you might want to create these tickets into um, to do multiple things and you just want to create more at the same time. You can absolutely do that. So we do that here when um, when this is, uh, is, is ending in a certain amount of time. So all we simply do is hit save and close and that is done. Now what will then happen is, is this will look at the end date of the contract. So effectively that will look in, we just look at any contracts on the system this is my demo account, so yeah, I do have some. So it's going to look at this date here, and it's going to say if this date is, in this case, within 60 days, it's going to send a, a, a ticket. Of course, we can still, you know, because this is just a normal workflow rule, we can, of course, still just use the old way of doing it as well and maybe have somebody emailed as well. So you might want to then have a notification at the same time, um, you know, and notify the account manager, send it from there, create a notification template, um, and, and send this out. But the best way to often do these is to just, if you're going to use the ticket, then maybe use this ticket to, to drive it. So one of the things, oh yeah, um, I just need to come in here and uncheck this, because I said it needs to notify somebody, and it was just saying I needed a notification template. So creating these tickets work basically on any um, on, on any of these areas except for service desk. What you cannot do at this 
precise moment um, is you can create a note to an existing ticket, but you cannot create a ticket. And that is, so So what they've basically said is the ticket workflow um, in, in all the tasks doesn't allow you to create another ticket based on, on a ticket doing something. But you can create a ticket based on, you know, an opportunity being closed or based on a, um, you know, a contract expiring or based on, you know, some other thing happening on the system. What you can't do, though, is to say, you know, when this ticket is closed or this ticket is updated or this ticket is something, create another ticket from there. Um, you can, however, just add a ticket note if you wanted to. So you could say, you know, whatever ticket this was related to, you could just add a note to the ticket, which you've always been able to do um, in, in workflow rules. So just bear that in mind. On, on the other areas within the system, you can absolutely just create that ticket. Um, you know, and the same thing with CRM, right? Maybe you want to say, um, and this would be, you know, for an opportunity. So maybe you say, you know, opportunity, uh, opportunity one, and maybe we would say here, you know, when the opportunity is edited and the, um, you know, the status is equal to closed, which in, in order task closed means closed one rather than closed lost. So, you know, when a status is equal to closed, then what we want to do is come down here and we want to create a ticket as well. So you might say, you know, as soon as we close this opportunity, we now want to have a ticket created for somebody to go and actually do something off the back of this opportunity. Now, I know if you ran the opportunity wizard in order task, it does create that post sale ticket, but this is actually a better way of doing it because you then don't have to create that post sale ticket and you're not forced to use it in the post sale queue. With this, you might create a provisioning ticket, but also because you can create multiple tickets here, you might create a provisioning ticket, you might create, you know, a, a, a post sale ticket or a, you know, something for the account manager to go and say, hey, thanks for, thanks for this opportunity, et cetera, et cetera. So you can create multiple tickets based upon, um, you know, some action happening in order task. So really straightforward, very simple, um, you know, very easy thing to do. I hope that was useful. So I'm just going to move myself um, out of the way. I hope that was useful. Um, it really does help if you if you click the like and subscribe button. Um, it really does help for these videos to get to where they need to be, um, you know, through through the, the YouTube algorithm. So I really would appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up, like this video, and if you like the content, um, you know, please subscribe, and you know, please do feel free to buy me a coffee. It really does help me to kind of you know produce more content and make these videos. So thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you guys all in the next one.